why do brains fall for magic tricks so easily? Yeah. Oh, it's fascinating. I mean, it's because we have this spotlight of attention. So even though I think you and I are sitting in this library and I think I'm taking it all in and the colors and whatever, you know, I only have color vision right in my central vision and my vision drops off around here at, you know, 100, uh, 160 degrees. I can't see past that. Um, and yet I feel like, oh, everything's in color and I'm seeing everything all at once. But in fact, all I'm really seeing at high resolution is what's in the spotlight of my attention. Anyway, uh, it turns out it's so easy to draw your attention. Your magicians have all these tricks like, yeah, if you move your hand in an arc, for example, people can't help but watch that. I don't know why that is, but wow. Yeah, as opposed to a straight line. Anyway, you know, it's so easy to just drag people's spotlight of attention. Even as you move your hand in an arc, I'm, wow, what is he doing? That's very funny. That's interesting. Exactly. Maybe it's simply because it's unexpected. It's like, you know, if I want to get from here to here, normally I'd go in a straight line. So maybe there's something weird about it, and that's what grabs your attention. Feels like something in my lizard brain that's just very interested in this arc. Exactly. So, um, yeah, so I I would say the main thing is the spotlight of attention. And then there's, you know, we have terrible memories, and so a magician can, um, for example, while he's doing so, you know, he touches the card deck and whatever. And then he says a minute later, okay, I haven't touched the cards and blah, blah, blah. And, and because he said that, you believe that to be true, even though you saw him touch the cards, but then that overwrites your memory. Anyway, you put together these things about attention, about memory, and so on. It's pretty easy to pull off magic tricks. 